removing the all of your thoughts. Directing the mind inward. Focusing on the breath. It is primal. All <coughs> motives are secondary. You should never hold your breath. If you do, know that you should rest or modify or adjust the pose that you are in. And when your breath comes back, evenly and effortlessly, and then come back to the pose. Remember, there should be no pain. Again, adjusting or modifying, or just resting. Continuing to focus inward, clearing the mind, acknowledging thoughts without judgment. Inhale, arms come up, lifting up tall. Exhale, bring the fingertips to the floor, maybe assisting the legs, switching. If you're in control, sitting up tall, inhaling, lifting up, releasing up, just notice how each side feels now, how the hips feel, how the legs feel, arms come forward, reaching up at the palm, touching the back, extending. The elbows as high as you can up towards the feet. Breathe now, bring it down slowly towards the floor, bringing it back behind you. Breathe, keep breathing. Inhale forward, lifting up. Reach up at the elbows. Just notice how the shoulders feel. Notice your posture. Notice the extension of the neck. Exhale down, dropping the hands down, extending back. And then forward in front of you, walking now. The far forward in this comfortable way or back where it is. Breathe. Focus on your grip. Make it primary. Walk your hands to the right. Come back to center. And walk to the left. Nice deep breath. Notice the coolness of the air. Come back to center. And walk hands back to the left. Lifting arms come up and reach up. Exhale, hands down, coming into stack pose. We're going to extend the feet coming off of our block that you are on, or prop. You're welcome to come on a little prop if you prefer. You're welcome to place any sort of prop underneath the knees if you find that the knees are locking. You're also welcome to place anything underneath the ankles if you find that you need support there. Find the post sit bones are firmly into the mat. Just notice even moving any flesh out of the way just to get a nice firm feel. Moving down. 
Lifting up through the top of the head, breathe, and gently exhale, chin to chest. The slight different feel here of the stretch, you may feel it more through the lower back, seeing that our legs are extended rather than in easy pose. Lifting up, deep breath in. And one more time, exhale, chin to chest. We're going to begin our neck rotations. Bringing chin to one shoulder. And seeing if you can keep a nice long spine. Exhaling back to center. And then inhaling to the other shoulder. Continue to move the neck. Side to side. Use your breath. Notice how you feel on the exhale. Sitting up tall one more time, pressing maybe the hands against the floor to help you get a nice long extension. Exhale, gently walk hands towards the knees. Breathe. Notice the knees maybe trying to come in towards each other. Try and keep them in parallel, lifting up. Slight bend of the knees, you do this. Breathe. And gently bring the toes towards you. Breathe. Feel the stretch of the hamstring. And slowly walk back. Bring the hands behind you, shoulders lift, heart lift, and feel the shoulder blades squeeze in towards each other. Gently just relax the legs. Allow the knees, the feet, flop side to side. Noticing how the legs feel, the hips feel, the glutes, even the lower abdominals, the lower back. And gently. Extend through the heels, deep breath in, point, left. And then slowly begin to rotate all the way around. Nice, big circle. Continue to move, gently swaying, allowing the hips to sway if you wish. Again, notice the hip bones, the pelvis. Gently swaying, moving, rotating, and reverse the direction. Notice any differences, any adjustments you need to make. It's just a simple directional change. And slowly begin to lift up. Bring toes towards you, lift up. Through the heart, nice and tall staff pose. Breathe, arms come up and reach up. Exhale, come forward. So seated forward, fold again. Try and lift through the heart. Gently bring shoulders back. Notice the length of the spine, more so in the actual stretch of the back of the legs. Breathe, gently focus on the belly button and see if it can come closer to the thigh. The heart still lifts. Breathe, tiny movement, but it is significant. Notice where along the spine you may be feeling tension, breathing through it. Slowly lift up, deep breath in, coming out, bending your knees, windshield wipers. Side to side movement. And gently draw them down to the right as far as you can. Holding it there, just notice how the quadriceps are feeling, particularly. Your left quadriceps. 
Bring it back up, deep breath in towards the left. Notice how the right quadricep is feeling, how the knee is feeling. Again, there should be no pain. See if you can bring both hip bones down towards the floor. Feel a little bit more through the quadricep. Inhale, lift. Exhale to the right. And again, this time, focus on trying to bring the hip bones to the floor. There should be no pain in the knee, the ankle, or the hip. Inhale, lift. Deep breath in. Last time, over to the left. Again, both hip bones. You might have to lift the torso. Adjust as you need to. Come back. Deep breath in. Palms of your feet come together, butterfly, bound angle. And allowing the feet to come in closer towards your groin. And only as far as is comfortable. Notice the knees, you're welcome to place any support on your knees as you need it. And slowly exhale and start to press the knees down. Inhale, lift the spine. Exhale, maybe a little bit more. Use the muscles in the legs to press the knees down. Breathe, exhale, come forward. Again, only as far as is comfortable. And notice where you're bending at. See if you can bend at the hip, not at the waist. Listen to the body, though, there should be no pain. Slowly breathing in and out through the neck. Inhale, slowly lift and reach the knees together. Breathe. And we're coming on to our knees. Again, you're welcome to put cushions onto the knees or onto the wrists. We're doing a cat cow, so you share. Just bring the knees, hands to the knees. Yeah. And then press belly button back, chin to chest. So for those that are in, on the mat, gently press chin to chest, lift the belly button to the sky, breathe. And inhale back to neutral. Core is still strong, gently breathing. And then on your exhale, dropping the belly, shoulders press back, chin lift. Coming back to neutral. And then cat. Neutral, and then cat. Notice how the back feels, the spine, the hips, the shoulders, the wrists, the knees. And then gently make a fist. This is a modification if you have any wrist issues. And then you can also bring your fingers to the mat. Another modification to neutralize the wrist. Strengthening the fingers, breathe. Plant the hands down, and then bring them out to the side. Fingertips point to the outer edges of your mat, and gently sway side to side, and back and forth. Opening up the wrists here. Bring the fingertips in towards each other, wrists are out towards the side of the mat. And again, same thing, side to side. You can place hands on your knees, Usha. And the similar thing, just moving them, the hands on the knees. Usha, on the knees. And then move them. Good. Now bring the fingertips towards your knees. Bring the wrists out. See if you can rotate the other way out. Bring the out, bring the elbows in towards you and the inner elbow towards me. Continue to rotate a little bit further out. So bring your finger the other way out and then towards you. There we go. Now I see your inner elbow. Good. Okay. Same thing, Mary. See if you can bring your fingers around and then continue. 
There we go. Again, it shouldn't be no pain. So adjust as you need to or come out of it. And again, movement side to side and forward and back. Good, yes. All right, now flip one hand around so the palm is down. Fingers tips are still towards you and begin to create a fist with that hand. See if you can bring the back of the hand down. There we go. Breathe. Maybe extend the arm if possible. So a nice long arm. And then switch it out with the other hand. And again, try and bring the wrist down, back of the hand, fully back, and then see if you can extend the arm. We're stretching the forearm here. We're stretching the wrist in this movement. Really opening up the fist. Okay, switch it out one more time. Breathe, and then make a fist, slowly moving fingers in a fist fashion. See if you can bring the back of the hand <laughs> all the way down. There we go. And then open and close the hand. Good. All right, switch it out. Last time, the other hand, same thing. Trying to plant the entire back of the hand down, and then open and close. Again, this is an excellent uh, wrist and forearm strengthening exercise. And we stretch the carpal tunnel. So any issues or arthritis there, it can be helped. Deep breath in, coming back to your normal position. Making a fist to neutralize the, the uh, wrists. And now back to the fingers. An undulating cat you're welcome to plant the, the hands fully down or keep them in more of a strengthening of the finger position. And then slowly bring the chins down and then lift it up. Breathe, feel the shoulder blades squeeze and then feel the shoulder blades open. Slowly, just notice how you feel. See if you can bring the elbows in closer to each other rather than splaying them out. Slightly different movement, slightly different work on the arm. Notice how the elbow feels. Crunching, popping is fine, just no pain. And one more time, lift up, come back to neutral, tabletop. Breathe. We're going to come into child pose for a little break of our wrists, and then we'll do our extension. So press back in the child's pose. So all the knees blocks between the legs underneath the pelvis if you need it. If the head won't reach the floor, you're welcome to use a block there as well. Extend the arms. Feel the stretch through the shoulders. Again, there should be no pain in the knees or the ankles. Adjust and modify as you need to. Deep breath in. We're going to walk hands to the right. Press the left hip out. So walk the hands up to the right corner of the mat. And the left hip presses slightly out towards the edge of the mat. The left leg. Breathe. Walk back to center, and then bring hands to the upper left corner of your mat, pressing the right hip out gently towards the right edge of the mat. Back to center, deep breath in, and slowly come up. Notice how the wrists are feeling. Should they more open or more free or not? Breathe through any tension. Extend right arm as if you're shaking someone's hand. However, your eyes look down, keeping a neutral spine. Core is strong. Notice the work of the left arm. Exhale down. Left arm extends. As if you're shaking someone's hand, again, eyes look down. Neutral spine. 
and exhale down. Right leg back, just as you need to. Press through the heel, toe points down. Nice long spine from heel to the top of the head. Bring it back. Switch out, left leg back, extend, breathe. Core strong. And back. Opposite limb, deep breath in. Usha, you can extend one leg forward if you want, and the opposite leg up. Right arm out, extend. Left leg presses back. Breathe. Up, Usha. There we go. Core is strong. Deep breath in. And exhale down. Switching sides. Left arm extend. Core is strong. And then extend through the right heel. Breathe. Bring it back down. And add a challenge here for those that are on the mat. Extend right arm. Breathe. Core is strong. Left leg back. The challenge here is your right toes may try to lift. Really focus on something that's not moving for balance. Breathe. Strong core. Exhale down. Left arm. Core is strong. Adjust your knees. And then right heel back. In your balance, your focal point of your eyes, then lift the left toes. Keep breathing, keep focusing. Exhale down. Free child's pose. Widen your legs as you need to. Again, use the props as you need them. If you need anything behind your knees, like a blanket or underneath your hips, relax your wrists, moving thumbs up and down off the mat. Nice deep breath. Again, visualize feeling your body. Visualize empty. Your lungs. Deep breath in, coming up back to tabletop. Curl the toes under. We're coming into a sun salutation today. So we're going to curl the toes under for a down dog. For anyone who wishes to do puppy dog. Just bring the elbows down, palms down, and then uncurl the toes and press the tailbone up towards the sky. For those who wish to come to down dog, core is strong, palms completely open, fingers wide, toes are curled under, and then begin to lift the belly up towards the sky, hips rise nice and tall, heart comes closer to the knees, Bend in one knee at a time, breathe, and bend both knees and extend. Bending both knees, extend. Keep going, breathing. Use your breath to flow with the movement. Extend both legs, keep lifted, and bend one knee again, and then the other. Stretch in the back of the leg, one at a time. Anytime you need a break, please take it. I'm going to come forward to a half plank, bring the knees to the floor. Palms are down, bring the belly closer to the floor, shoulders are up and back for half plank. Hips become in alignment, come in alignment with the spine. So bring your hips forward more, a little bit more. Bring the hands forward as you need to, to get the length. Press all the way down. Relax the hands, bring the elbows underneath the shoulders. Palms are down. 
Wind the feet just a little bit. Extend the leg, feel the top of the foot, press onto the floor, and the kneecaps begin to lift slightly off. Then gently begin to bring the shoulders up and back, lifting up high through the belly, through the sternum, through the heart, and then bring the chin up so that it's parallel to the floor. Again, mind the surface of the spine, your neck, and listen. Breathe. Press the tops of your feet to the floor. This supports your lower back. It is working right now. Exhale, bring the heart down, elbows out, deep breath in. Bring hands underneath the shoulders for baby cobra. You're welcome to stay in space if you prefer. Pressing the hands to the mat, elbows in tight by the ribs. Engage your feet, tops of the feet to the mat, lifting the knees, engaging the quadriceps, gently engage the glutes, and then lift the heart, shoulders back, eyes look forward, breathe. It's a small little lift. Focus on the breath. Keep the engagement of the legs. Protect the lower back. Exhale down. Begin to press the knees to the mat. Preparing to lift up into um, our half plank. So engage your core. Feel the belly come off the mat. Feel the glutes engage. Feel the knees press into the mat, palms begin to press on your exhale, lift. Nice, strong belly, adjust your hands as you need to. Make sure the wrists are right underneath the shoulders. This is the best foundation if you do. No worries, you can always come to child's pose. Breathe. Curl the toes under. We're going to come into a down dog. Again, you're welcome to come into puppy dog. Lift the tailbone, core is strong. Press the hands to the mat. You're welcome to bend the knees as much as you need to. Breathe. Slowly, we're going to cover the left foot and bring it down closer as if you're walking to the top of the back. You're welcome to come into a standing position any way you need to. Otherwise, if you can, just slowly walk your feet to the top of the mat. Having blocks ready to help you. And slowly lift. Breathe. Exhale, hands down. Shake it out. How are you feeling? Get some water. It's a good time to get water. Yes, I'm doing arm work today. Deep breath in. Inhale, upward salute, reaching up. Exhale, prepare posture, hands to the thighs or the shins, depending on your proportion. Notice the position of your feet. They should be parallel to each other. You're welcome to keep the knees bent, right, and then slowly try and straighten them out. You're welcome to bring hands to a block if you prefer. And do it this way, bring the torso forward slightly. Breathe. Now, to get a more muscular, event here. Bring the arms forward, up by the ear. Breathe. Eyes are still looking down. Good spinal alignment. Notice the pressure on your feet. It should be evenly distributed from the toes to the heels. Inhale slowly. Lift up. Upward salute. Palms together into prayer. Shake it out. Inhale. 
inhale, loop, knee breath in, and gently start to rotate in one direction. Noticing how the side of the body feels, how the back feels, how the front of the body feels, and reverse. Welcome to bend your knees, your ankles. Never overstretching or over twerking those joints. Lifting up, deep breath in. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Left arm lifts, press the right hand into the thigh for support as you extend over. Breathe. Try and keep shoulder blades back so there's an imaginary wall behind you. Extend through the arms. Inhale, lift, same thing on the other side. Left hand down, right arm comes up, slight bend in the knee. Press that right hand into the thigh, or left hand into the thigh, and extend over. Breathe. Notice the work here. Notice the position of your feet. Are they evenly distributed with weight? Try and press that right foot to the floor as you extend the right arm up. And lift up, reach up one more time, switching it out. Press the right foot, or right arm leg. And lift up with the left. Now press the left foot firmly to the floor. Breathe. Inhale, last time. Reaching up. Exhale, hands behind you. And we're going to do a gentle back bend. So notice the feet. Try and keep the hips where they are, right over the legs, and not bring the hips forward, if that makes sense. So we're not going to bring the hips forward. We're going to try and keep the hips, again, in alignment with the legs. And then as we lift the heart and reach back with the shoulder, focus on keeping the hips in the same position. A lot of times what we do is we press the hips forward and we arch the lower back too much. So just be mindful of your lower back as you lift up, bring the shoulders back. Breathe and focus on engaging your glutes, your legs, so that your hips do not come forward. Notice the feet working here, pressing the shoes to the floor. And relax, shake it out. How's the spine? How's the back feel? Okay? Okay. A lot of times what we can do is they push it out and they really arch the back and it can be it, it can be a uh, cause issue. So I really want you to focus, find those tadasana legs, find tadasana, engaging the legs, engaging your knees. Glutes are engaged, core is engaged, and then lift up again. Bring the elbows back. Breathe. Notice the work going on in your lower body, trying to maintain that position. And relax. Shake it up. Hips move side to side. Try and relax in here. We're going to do this one more time, but we're going to use our blocks. You know, bring the block right between the legs. And this will also be an indicator for the movement of the leg. All right. So we the ability to lift up through the shoulder and find that position. So squeezing the block in. This may be one of the few times I say a center block is better, but, but you use what you can. And then squeeze that block. Now we're really engaging the leg, engaging the glutes, shoulders up and back, arms come up, and then bring them back to the lower back. Breathe, lift up through the heart, squeeze that block. Notice how it's giving the indication of the movement. And then reach up with the heart, lift up, maybe the chin slightly for that back bend. Squeeze that block. Notice the work in the lower body now. Breathe, elbows are back. Holding it here. And breathe. And relax and shoulders forward, shake it out, release that block. You see the difference? 
the activity that's required to maintain this is the exact activity that I wish for it to be able to maintain the position of the hips all the way around the feet. So you like me in any classroom though. You know, even if the instructor doesn't know to use them, you can use them, and you know. So remember, anytime you go to another class anywhere, use your block to in place to help maintain the position of your legs. All right, good. So that was our back bend. How's the back feel? You feeling the work thing? Yes. yes. All right, we're going to do a forward fold to stretch it out. So coming forward, having your blocks ready to your feet, top of the mat. Find your tadasana, right? Bend the right knee, remember the little lock the knee. Inhale this. Exhale, prepare posture if that's where you need to be. And now forward fold. Use the block as you need to. Notice your foundation. Notice the pressure on your foot. Is it distributed equal? And slowly begin to try and straighten out the leg. Keeping that micro bend. Breathe. Maybe grabbing the opposite elbows and allowing yourself to be ragdoll. Just moving it side to side. And slowly, if you have blocks, we're going to sit on them, coming mean, into a squat. Right. If you know a squat is not for you, you're welcome to come into a resting position. So you can widen the feet as wide as you want. Welcome to bring both blocks, if you'd like, to the tallest position. And then from there, you can bring them down if you feel comfortable doing that. If you want to use a third block to sit on, you can do that too, to raise it up higher. I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to slowly begin to bend my knee and hand start to touch the floor and then bring the sit bones onto the block. Right, and then slowly we just find our squat position here. Again, we do have some extra blocks in the back if you need to come up higher. Breathe. <laughs> the alternative is to grab a chair and put both feet onto the block to lift the legs up, kind of like the squatty potty thing. All right, and then you bring the feet up towards you while you're in the chair. So that's an alternative. So gently start to move the hips side to side. If this is not a problem for your knees, you're welcome to try going down a little bit more to a lower level. And doing the same thing. Again, starting as high as you want. And again, you can use a chair. You're welcome to grab a chair and do this. And then moving slightly side to side. We're opening up the hips, just stretching the back as we come up high. And again, if you find you can go a little lower, you're welcome to find that block, go a little lower. And then try and bring the hands into prayer. Bring elbows to the inside of your thigh. And then gently move side to side. And then maybe eventually we can come into a full squat. So again, just progressive. Start at the highest level. I'll listen to your knees and know how they're feeling. A year and a half ago, I had people say they could not do this ever. <sighs> and we use the, the process of progress, simply getting to a spot as a way to know that it is possible to come, even if it's not all the way down to the almost the floor, to be able to open up the hips. This is stretching the back, this is opening up your rib line. Lifting up, you start to begin to sit taller and breathe. But I'm not in the spot where I'm sitting. 
Mm. But you still have that position, and you know that your knees can handle it, your ankles can handle it, your hips can handle it. Once the strength comes into the leg, then you might be able to remove that block and be able to position yourself. Mm. Not yet, that's, that's the thing, but we get there slowly. All right, then you can bring your hands and then slowly bring up one heel and the other. You slowly move. And again, this is where the strength in the ankle and the wrists and the ankles is what we're working on. A little bit of arm strength if you come forward onto your hands and back off. Forward onto your hands, onto the knees and hands. Again, having extra blocks if you wish. You can have a block in front of you for support if you want. Breathe. And this eventually comes into crow. And that's one of the, it's, it's the start of an inversion. When you start lifting up one foot and then coming off, lifting up the other foot. And tomorrow on our heads. And, <laughs> and then the start of going into a shoulder stand, a hand stand, yes. So, but the first important thing was starting to get those wrists moving so that you could actually come forward onto them, putting more pressure and then back. So listen to all those joints as you come forward and back. We won't be doing crow today because we don't have enough cushions. I like to have cushions when we do crow. All right, you're welcome to do crow even with blocks. So you can use three blocks, put your head on, and then lift up so that you don't have so much pressure on your hands or you're not afraid of falling forward, which is what happens, it's normal, but we want to keep our feet. So we use the block to do this, and eventually lower, and back, and then eventually up. We don't like that. Yeah, next week. Yeah. <laughs> but he's not in this part, and that's where the squat starts and starts where the wrists start feeling the pressure and feel open and breathe. So, yes, I started you on, on a path to, to maybe something you may not want to ever come to, but this is, this is a position. But they should want you for the very pretty. Oh, yeah, I think so. Everyone has their own. Oh, and that requirements and needs and desires, and not all of it is needed. <laughs> all right, we're going to come up out of this. All right, so if you're on the block, just slowly, maybe lift up to the higher block. Breathe, and then slowly come up a little higher. Maybe use the other block to lift up. And then the knees come up, reach up. Notice how the back feels. Or you hit side to side, hands to the hips, gently rotate. You didn't realize how much that actually did. I feel this tomorrow. Yes. We haven't, I haven't. Right I've been I've been waiting to do these. <laughs> and you came right on time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna to come to the top for now. We've got to come down. Inhale, lift up, exhale. Bend the knees, touch the mat, and then come back one leg at a time into our half foot. Breathe. And gently come all the way down to the mat. Bring the hands back behind you, palms are up. We're coming into half lotus, continuing to work that back through the arms. We're going to lift the arms up, feel the shoulders press away from the ears. 
And then we lift the chin off the mat. Press back. Engage the legs like you did in Cobra. Pressing the tops of the feet down. Protecting your lower back. Giving it support. Exhale down. Palms of your hands come down. Feel the hands rotate to the floor. Yes. Elbows are up. Palms are down. There we go. Good. Now engage your legs. Engage your belly. Feel the belly button press off the floor. Press the palms of your hands to the floor. Begin to point the toes. Feel them lift off the floor. Now maybe lift the knees off the floor. Breathe, maybe lift a little high. Glutes are engaged. Your chin is on the mat. You should be able to breathe. And exhale down. Shake it out. We're going to come on to our back. And extend the arms. Bend the arms. Reach, reach, reach. Reach. Feel the shoulders relax down. And exhale. Hands come down towards the knees, bending the knees and finding your wind release pose, swinging the thighs against the belly, pressing your arms maybe around, hugging the legs if you can, swinging even gently from side to side. You can use the strap here if you'd like for our, our uh, recline twist. So if you have a strap, you're welcome to grab onto it. We're going to extend the left leg down, right leg stays bent, Bringing the strap to the base of the toes, lifting up, reaching up through the heel. Breathe. Exhale out to the side, away from the body. Keep the left leg engaged. Breathe. You're welcome to use props if the leg won't reach the floor for support. Deep breath in, lift up. And then switch, bring the leg over and over to the body. Relaxing the left leg. Breathe, gently stretch the lower back, the hips, the IT band. Feel both shoulders pressing towards the floor. Heart is open. Deep breath in, slowly begin to lift up the right leg, engaging the left for support. Bending the knee, squeeze. I'm going to bend the left knee. I'm going to cross the right leg onto the left thigh. You're going to grab the left leg with your hands and lift the left foot off the floor into our figure four position, bending both knees, feeling the stretch in the outer right thigh. Exhale, dropping it down. Extending the right leg, dropping it to the floor. Left leg bends. You will to use a strap here for the left leg as you place maybe the strap to the bottom of the foot and extend the leg, otherwise holding on to it with your hand. Right leg presses to the floor and then drop the left leg down away from the body. You're welcome to use props here as you need to. I keep both hips on the floor. Deep 
seated breath in, relaxing the hips, relaxing the shoulders. Engaging your right leg to the floor. We begin to lift the leg, reach up and over. Same concept. This time your left hip might lift up. So try and keep both shoulder blades on the floor. Breathe.
fingers, wiggle your toes. Now we move the head side to side. Then we bring the shoulders up high and then as far away from the ears as possible. Bending the knees, gently swaying the knees side to side. And when you're ready, dropping and rolling over to one side, dropping your knees to one side. Taking a breath or two here before coming out into a comfortable and seated position. Inhale, lift up, breathe up, palms come together. It was my honor and pleasure to be here today and practice with you, helping to guide you through, but knowing that you are your main God. Remembering that light within each and every one of you that shines bright, it's meant to be shown not covered up. And each of those is so important. Each is individual, unique, and necessary. The light in these deeds and honors, the light in each and every one of you, which means none. Thank you. 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 Thank you.